good afternoon dear nursing officers so today we'll discuss about uh, abortion okay so today's topic is that abortion so what it mean usually abortions will be uh, your abortion means what end of the pregnancy the end of the pregnancy will call it as a abortion right so usually abortion will be takes place before 20 weeks of the gestational age will call it as a abortion or the viable fetus which is there so that uh, before viability of the fetus uh, the delivery will take place will call it as a abortion before viability viability means what the live fetus when it will be developed means after at, uh, with the 28 weeks of gestational age the viability of the fetus will get developed okay so viability hi latest nursing updates kosam nidhya channel ni subscribe cheyandi like cheyandi share cheyandi bell icon ni click chesthe meeku latest upload aina videos easy ga chudochu youtube la thank you Okay, viability when the viable of fetus will occur means at the week of 28 okay at the week of 28 weeks so viability of fetus will be takes place so before viability of fetus if the delivery occurs or if the fetus the fetal contents which are there with those are retaining out uh, will be coming out we'll call it as a abortion okay so what it means before viability of the fetus if the pregnancy ends we'll call it as a abortion before viability of um, fetus so the uh, like uh, end of the pregnancy if occur means we'll call it as a abortion so usually abortion is having uh, two types those are like uh, first one is the natural and artificial okay so naturally means the spontaneously the abortion will be takes place this depends on the maternal causes or because of the hormonal causes so how the abortion will occur and what are all the causes means mostly most mostly the common causes of the first prime minister if the first prime minister is there so during that time if the uh, abortion is occurring means what is the main cause is that chromosomal abnormalities because of chromosomal abnormalities during first prime minister there are chance of the abortion okay when it comes to the second or third prime minister if the abortion is occurring or recurrent abortions are occurring means because of the cervical incompetent cervical incompetent means what the permanent dilation of the cervix will be call it as a incompetent cervix okay so in that case we can notice the abortion Abortions. So usually, in which in which period or during which prime minister mostly abortions will be takes place means in the first prime minister. First prime minister will notice the abortions. Clear? So first, a very important points. Uh, so previously were asked in the exam. So those are like uh, during which prime minister mostly abortions will be takes place means first prime minister when first prime minister and when the uh, how the how does this abortion will be takes place later pregnancy means later pregnancy so that is because of the incompetent cervix incompetent cervix means what usually this is a uterus right so this cervix should be get will uh, the cervix dilation the cervix will get dilate so because of that after conceiving what will be happen the the conception products which are there so they will be deliver out or they will be comes out so uh, because of the incompetent cervix or because of the dilation of the cervix okay so this is the reason most common in exam what is the most common cause for this uh, abortion is that incompetent pregnant incompetent cervix first question is that what is the most common cause for the abortion is that incompetent cervix okay so in which period in which like uh, first trimester second trimester and third trimester three trimesters are there now first three months second three months and last three months so uh, it uh, had divided like a trimester right so in during the first trimester most commonly abortions will be takes place clear so those are the uh, like uh, causes first one is the what are the causes here first one is the chromosomal problems okay chromosomal abnormalities so what are the chromosomal abnormalities which are leading to be abortion is that trisomies okay so what is the what is mean by trisomy usually we have a we have like 23 sets of the chromosomes or 23 pairs of the uh, chromosomes so among these 23 pairs so 22 pairs are the autosomes okay sir no 23 pairs are the autosomes so remaining 23rd pair 
pair is the sex chromosome so which is decide the sex like male or female which is which is declared by the 23 chromosome only 23rd chromosome only so if the during the fetal development among this chromosomal abnormalities if anything has developed because of the like uh, gene mutations and all so that time we can notice the abortions okay so first one is the trisomy so trisomy means what usually set of chromosome has a two pairs right but in the uh, trisomy what will be happen extra chromosome will be added to the particular set of the chromosome so how many pairs are there totally 23 pairs of chromosomes are there no among this 23 pairs of chromosome so where we can notice the trisomy okay so trisomy means uh, under uh, among the Uh, 10th chromosome set which is the 10th chromosome set is there no so to that extra chromosome will be added okay so that we'll call it as a trisomy 10 and trisomy 13 also is there okay and most probably which chromosome affect leads to be fetal uh, like uh, abortion means uh, trisomy 10 okay trisomy 10 leads to be there are chances of the abortion in the pregnant mother so next trisomy 13 so trisomy 13 means what it is a patau syndrome which syndrome patau syndrome okay patau syndrome and next trisomy 18 is there that is edward syndrome edward syndrome okay and trisomy 21 is there trisomy 21 is there so that indicates what trisomy 21 is there down syndrome Okay, these are the different chromosomal abnormalities which are leading to be abortion. So here, trisomy 10 leads to be abortions. Okay, most probably, which is the most common among these trisomies are that trisomy 10 leads to be fetal defects and there are chances to be abortion. So this is about the chromosomal ab uh, abnormalities. And next one is the next common is most common cause for the abortions. Okay, so in, in among all the pregnant mothers, we cannot observe this uh, chromosomal ab. normalities right but when comes to the cervical incompetent okay cervical incompetent means what the cervix dilation will notice okay permanent cervix incompetent means what cervical incompetent means what permanent dilation of the cervix so if the cervix is dilated means what will be happen the conceptual thing which is there so that the, there are chances to be if bleeding occurs if any abnormalities occurs so there are chances to be uh, like uh, uh, end of the pregnancy right so here dilation means cervical competent is the most common cause for the abortion very important question then we'll discuss about the risk factors so so the risk factors which are leading to be uh, like abortions is that alcoholism okay if the mother is having the habit of alcohol and smoking as hypertension so this and all leads to be abortion okay so next we will see the types of abortion those are the natural abortion or on one more is the artificial abortion so under natural so that is depends on the maternal causes or risk factors leads to be abortion and when comes to the artificial means so that is because of the mtp so if any person because of the like rape if she got the pregnancy that in that case there must be a termination of the pregnancy is very required yes or no and not only that if mother has any tots infections like rubella in case of rubella also so we we'll prefer the mtp right in case of uh, rubella rubella or if an if any lady met with the like uh, rape and all in those cases also there are chances to be we need to be terminate the pregnancy before 20 weeks of the pregnancy okay be before 20 weeks of the gestational age only we will terminate the pregnancy under mtp under mtp medical termination of pregnancy so criminal means what here so illegally they will con non medical practitioners who are there so they will conduct the deliveries so that we will call it as a criminal or illegal abortion so under natural so we had seen the two types those are isolated and recurrent so those are like threatened abortion inevitable abortion and incomplete complete and missed and septic abortions okay so these are the different types of abortions we will see we will discuss one by one so what it mean 
So here, first one is the threatened abortion. Okay. So threatened abortion means what? So very important points only we are discussing here. Please listen carefully. So under threatened abortion, so continuity of the pregnancy is possible. First point is that under threatened abortion, continuity of the pregnancy is possible if mother has a like if the pregnant mother have a bleeding like a light slight bleeding she is having vaginal bleeding she is having and there is no pain if mother is not like pregnant mother is not feeling any pain so that indicates that patient has a threatened abortion so that indicates so if we can continue with the pregnancy why means so here pregnancy is possible to continue because here cervical dilatation will not be occur okay will not occur cervical dilation will not occur if the cervical dilation is occurring so that leads to be what there will be a delivery of the the uh, like conceptual products may be takes place because of the uh, causes okay so here continuation of pregnancy is possible because here internal os internal os is closed okay, okay. internal os so is in closed exam, how and cervical dilation is not if the occurring is having, and here like we can know is the vaginal like bleeding, bleeding, but that, that is a uh, painless uh, vaginal bleeding. We can notice under weeks of the attendance abortion. Age. So here, yes, question they will ask you in the exam: bleeding, and she is not feeling uh, feeling with the pain. So which type of abortion is that? Like that, there are chances to be asked in the exam. Okay. So here, what are all the points you have to be remember? Exam point of view is that. So internal os is closed. So here internal os means what? Here cervix is there, and this is the body of the uterus, and here cervix is there. So this is the external os, and this is the internal os. Okay. So this cervical external internal os is like uh, inter here. So internal cervical os is closed. So if it is closed, the no, the things will not be comes out. Yes or no? Yes, so that must be retained there itself only. So here internal os is closed, and we can know here cervical dilation means what uh, the length, the opening of the cervix we cannot notice here. If there is a releasing of the oxytocin or prostaglandin only, so there will be initiation of the contraction, uterine contractions, right? If there is no production of the oxytocin and prostaglandin, what will be happen? Contractions will be not there. But here what? we can notice so that is the reason under threatened abortion we are noticing the painless vaginal bleeding painless vaginal bleeding okay painless vaginal bleeding we are noting noticing because here the uterine contractions are not there and cervical internal cervical os also closed and uh, so only we can notice the sign is the symptom is that vaginal bleeding okay under threatened abortion and here continuation of the pregnancy also possible okay na so these four points you have to be remember as exam point of view from here there are chances to be asked questions and next inevitable abortion so what is this inevitable abortion is that the continuation of the pregnancy is not possible here continuation of the pregnancy is not possible okay continuation of pregnancy not possible why means here internal cervical os open internal cervical os open so here so that the continuation of the pregnancy is uh, very difficulty okay continuation of pregnancy is not possible okay not possible Okay, so here first point is that continuation of pregnancy is not possible here. What is the reason here that internal cervical os is opened? Okay, so internal cervical os is open. So the the bleeding, vaginal bleeding, we will notice and painful bleeding we can notice under this inevitable inevitable abortion. Okay, so how to manage this? Okay, here we can continue with continue the pregnancy, but here unable to continue the pregnancy. So that what we need to do? So So the retained bits which are there that should be cleaned. Otherwise, what will be happen? There are chances to be infection. So there are chances to be infection. So that what we have to do? So according to 
age according to gestational age if less than 12 weeks and if more than 12 weeks there is a different management for this inevitable abortion so if the mother has a less than 2 12 weeks of the gestational age okay so during that time so which management is preferable is that so dnc okay for, uh, which procedure is possible to do here dnc procedure dilatation dilation and curettes procedure is using here to clean the uterus okay and next one here and vacuum suction also will be using here vacuum suction also using here okay so here under dnc if you want to be continue the dnc so gestational age should be less than 12 weeks if more than 12 weeks which procedure is possible to do for this cases is that so under so under we will uh, under general anesthesia lo, sorry under local anesthesia so we'll uh, we'll clean the uh, like uh, uterus okay we'll clean the uterus so how to clean it okay here we are performing the procedure so if the gestational age is, age is more than 12 weeks of 12 weeks means so which procedure should be performed here means exogenous oxytocin which one um, by using exogenous oxytocin exogen exogenous oxytocin we are cleaning the uterus because through the vaginal bleeding the conceptual materials will comes out but retained bits are there placenta also is there because after 12 weeks placenta formation will be takes place right so placenta is uh, formed already by the weeks of the 12 so the placenta also we have to be clean well otherwise what will be happen there are chances of the infection uterine infections are there chances to be occur so that reason so before 12 weeks of the pregnancy we will uh, go with the dnc procedure dilation and curettage and next one is the vacuum suction and if the more than 12 weeks of the pregnancy so which procedure is preferable here means we will give the injection that is oxytocin so here oxytocin will be giving okay so it will initiate the uterine contractions that leads to be so uh, the drain out of the retained bits will be takes place with the help of this exogenous oxytocin clear so that is about the inevitable it uh, abortion clear so these two are very important exam point of view threatened and inevitable so under threatened the continuation of the pregnancy is possible we can continue with the pregnancy if pregnant lady comes to you as a nursing officer you are working and in the like uh, gynecology like uh, obc department so there if she comes with the normal vaginal bleeding you can tell her that nothing to worry so because she is not getting pain during the vaginal bleeding so that indicates internal os is closed already so nothing to worry to the missed abortion there are no, no chances to be occur so like that we can explain to them right and when comes to the inevitable so here cervical os is open so internal cervical os is in, open so that is the confirmation whether it is the inevitable or whether it is the threatened how can we identify with the between this inevitable and threatened abortion is that the cervical os opening okay that is the main determination to identify the difference between threatened and inevitable abortion okay clear so next one is the complete abortion so complete abortion means what so complete completely the conceptual uh, materials which are there so they are going to be comes out okay they are going to be comes out completely the retained bits will not be stay, retain in the uterus so complete abortion will be takes place here okay so this is complete abortion and next one is the incomplete abortion so incomplete abortion means what here so nothing here com under complete abortion one thing we have to be remember after checking after doing uh, like ultrasonography and pervaginal examination if there is no any retained bits so then we can uh, notice for the whether mother has a rh negative or positive if the mother is rh negative so what we need to do means with in 72 hours we need to administer the anti d okay anti d injection should be administered to the mother okay to the mother we need to administer this injection okay im we will give so if if in case of complete abortion and mother has mother if she is a rh positive sorry rh negative only so we will prepare with the anti d injection within 72 hours we need to administer that dose to the mother to for prevent the 
future baby will not get the rh incompatibility disease okay and next one is the incomplete abortion so incomplete abortion means what here the some uh, through the vaginal bleeding the retain uh, the conceptual materials will comes out but some retain bits will be there in the uterus so by uh, so that should that should be removed out so how to do if the mother is having a less than 12 weeks of gestational and if mother is having more than 12 weeks of gestational age so that we have to be see so if mother has the less than 12 weeks of gestational age so that time which procedure should be preferable here means d and c which procedure is preferable d and c okay dilation and curatus procedure is preferable here when comes to the more than if mother has a gestational age is like more than 12 weeks of gestational age so that time under ga under general anesthesia so we'll clean the uterus okay under genus under general anesthesia will clean the like uterus to prevent the infection okay so that is about the incomplete abortion okay incomplete abortion and next one is the missed abortion okay here missed abortion means what so mother doesn't know what is happening to her because she is she is thinking that she is the pregnant lady but here she does she lost her pregnancy but that doesn't know to the mother okay so that we'll call it as a missed abortion so how can we know this missed abortion means first indication is that so that the uh, uterus okay uteral growth will be decreased yes or no so fundal growth will be fundal height we will monitor the fundal height right so if the fundal height is decreased or the uterus will be like uh, uterine height is decreased that is, that is the indication for the missed abortion okay so how to fundal height how to we, how we will came to know that so according to the gestational age there is a different uh, heights fundal heights right so if uh, below symphysis pubis between no, below 12 weeks of gestational age if the mother has a 12 weeks of gestational age the fundal height is like below uh, like symphysis pubis okay below symphysis pubis when comes to the 16 weeks of gestational age so how the fundal height and where is the fundal height is that it is between the symphysis pubis and umbilicus okay between the symphysis pubis and umbilicus when it comes to the 20 weeks of gestational age 2.5 centimeters below to the umbilicus 2.5 centimeters below to the umbilicus okay so here again 22 weeks of gestational age so here so where the fundal height we can palpate means at the level of the umbilicus okay so when comes to the 36 weeks of gestational age the fundal height near to the zygoid process okay zygoid process so like this we we will calculate the fundal height right so here what happened in the missed abortion the height of the fundus will will not be increased when the baby is healthy and live only, the fetal growth will be takes place, right? But here what is happening? The fetal is already dead because of the common like causes or risk factors. So here the fundal height will be get decreased. And here HCG. HCG is the one of the hormone which is important for the confirmation of the pregnancy through urine, right? So HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin hormone, it is releasing from the tropoblast tissues, okay? From where it will be released? Tropoblast tissues, okay? Before placenta develop. Okay, this is the hormone which is regulating the corpus luteum to release the estrogen and progesterone. Here, progesterone hormone is which is important to maintain the pregnancy, right? So, here, HCG, what will be happen? These levels will not appear in the, so will be negative in the urine examination, okay? We can notice negative in the urine examination, okay? So, that is one of the indication to identify the missed abortion, clear? So, missed abortion. And not only that, we can notice the spadling sign also. Very important exam point of view, spadling sign. So, what it mean? What it mean and where, in which kind of abortion we will notice? Means under missed abortion, we will notice this spadling sign. So, what it mean? Means the cranial bones of the fetus overlap. Okay, overlapping of the cranial bones we will notice in the dead fetus after one week. After one week of the death, after one one week after the death of the fetus, we can notice this 
spadding sign okay spadding sign means what the overlapping of the cranial bones uh, bones we will notice under usg abdomen okay where from with the help of the usg abdomen we can assess this padding sign very important question it was asked in previous exams what we are discussing right now these questions were asked in previous exam okay please make it as the important and next one is the septic abortion so here here only in this condition under threatened abortion only continuation of the pregnancy is possible remaining all so continuation not possible okay so under septic abortion so under septic abortion what will be happen because of the infection okay because of the infection so there are grades grade 1 2 and three so like this grades are there so depends on the location okay so grade one the infection completely retained to the uterus okay so that we uh, okay that is the grade one when comes to the grade two here the infection is spreading to the other parts of the uterine cavity like uterine walls and the fallopian tubes so ovaries will get infected so because of that also if the if that also there are chances to be abortion and next one is the grade three here because of the peritonitis okay peritonitis also one of the cause to have this septic abortion okay so these are the gradings of the septic abortion okay septic abortion how can we grade means previously asked this question grade 1 2 3 so here grade 1 how can we decide means if the infection is only retained to the uterus we will call it as a grade 1 if the infection is spreading to the not only uterus and it is also spreading to the fallopian tubes and as well as the ovaries will uh, consider it as a grade 2 and if the infection to the Uh, like peritonitis uh, if a person has a peritonitis means we'll uh, take it like a grade 3 okay so these are the three grades under septic abortion clear because of the infection there are chance of the uh, like abortions in the pregnant mother clear so these are the different types of the uh, abortions so next we'll see the like uh, Uh, legal and illegal so legal abortion is there and illegal abortion is there so legal abortion is the usually pregnancy is a very good movement to the every human every uh, woman right so here if she want to be terminate the pregnancy there must be a certain reasons then only under mtp act the termination of the pregnancy will be takes place so here what is the main difference between legal and illegal here medical practitioners will be conduct the like uh, termination of the pregnancy but when comes to the illegal there the non medical practitioners do the abortion abortion to the uh, like uh, Um, uh, illegal uh, illegal people who got the pregnancy so they want to be go for the termination of the pregnancy right so they will uh, terminate the pregnancy non medical practitioners will terminate the pregnancy so under this mtp is very important okay medical termination of the pregnancy so this medical termination of pregnancy was introduced in the year of 1971 under 1972 it came into force it is legalized because already we ha i have told you no pregnancy is a very good and happy moment to every woman but here because of certain reasons that there, uh, there is the requirement of the termination of pregnancy right so that is the reason they were legalized if any person underwent rape if pregnant mother has a rubella like uh, uh, baby if getting any problem because of this pregnancy in such cases also can terminate the pregnancy that law was developed in the year of 1970 1971 it came into force 1972 and again in the year of 1975 there was the amendment okay there was a amendment in the mtp act okay so recently under mtp uh, recent amendment was takes place in the year of 2020 february okay in the month of february recent amendment was takes place okay so under this recent amendment what are all the changes and before the amendments what are all the changes we will see now okay so here if you want to be terminate the pregnancy when so if you want to be terminate the pregnancy like uh, before 20 weeks of the gestational age only we will go for the abortion that is medical termination of the pregnancy 
okay if mother has a like less than 12 weeks less than 12 weeks before less than 12 weeks of the uh, gestational age if you want to be terminate the pregnancy there must be there must be a uh, like uh, opinion from the one medical practitioner okay one medical practitioner opinion must be required here under mtp act under mtp act 1975 amendment so what it is saying that one if uh, mother is less than 12, 12 weeks of the gestational age so like 12 weeks of the pregnancy so if she want to be terminate the pregnancy because of any reason so if, uh, she, if because less than 12 weeks of the uh, like term, uh, term so one opinion one uh, like one medical practitioner opinion should be taken up by the mother okay if uh, more than 12 weeks 12 to 20 weeks between the period is there pregnancy period is there means during that time so two medical practitioners opinion should be required to terminate the pregnancy though that is the first amendment when comes to the second amendment so according to 2020 so what it is saying that so up to 20 weeks of the pregnancy up to 20 weeks of the pregnancy so to one medical practitioner is in a medical practitioner opinion must be required okay one medical practitioner uh, opinion must be required up to 20 weeks when the two medical practitioners opinion is required means between 20 to 24 weeks of the pregnancy okay if want to be terminate means somebody they doesn't know that uh, there was missed abortion yes or no so if the beyond period if it is going means so the, so that time two medical practitioners opinion is required to terminate the pregnancy that is according to 2020 amendment and that uh, the termination was done so they should not reveal the information to others the information patients information must be confidential so these are the three amendments which are happening under the happened under this 2020 clear so that is about the medical termination of the pregnancy is it clear to everyone so abortion so means end of the pregnancy ending of the pregnancy before 20 weeks of 20 weeks so here two types are there natural and artificial under natural so here isolated and recurrent so threatened and inevitable complete incomplete missed and septic abortions are there under natural when it comes to the artificial legal and illegal is there clear so from here there are mostly ch more chances to be asked questions and from here missed abortion under missed abortion which sign we will notice also there are chances to be asked so next we will see the how to index the abortion okay methods of in the induced abortion how to induce the abortion so we had seen right inevitable abortion how to manage before 12 weeks of the pregnancy and after 12 weeks of the pregnancy we had seen and under incomplete also we had seen so those are like to mephipristone mesoprostol and prostaglandin vacuum aspiration and one more is the dnc hysterectomy so these are the different methods to induce the abortion clear so here first one is the by using the surgical methods and using the medical methods we can induce induce abortion or we can we can terminate the pregnancy so under medical under medicines what are all the things will come here means one is the mephipristone and mesoprostol so these are the medications which are using to terminate the pregnancy so here actually usually previously uh, along with this uh, mesoprostol there is uh, there is one more drug is that methotrexate okay so they used to be they used to be used these two medicines like metho methotrexate and mesoprostol but here there are changes nowadays there there were there are changes there with the these two medications are using we using with the combination what is the reason behind this methotrexate if you are using the methotrexate to terminate the pregnancy it is taking the time like 14 days so that 
so that what happened so they have added this methipristone and misoprostol together to terminate the pregnancy within hours so within how many hours taking of medication the like uh, abortion will be takes place means within 3 to 4 hours within 3 to 4 hours we can uh, the abortion will be takes place within 3 to 4 hours okay so that is mifepristone and misoprostol so here mifepristone and misoprostol how we will give means through orally here misopro mifepristone we will give orally okay orally so how much dose we can administer means 800 mg okay and how much so here this is the 800 mcg okay and this is 200 mg so this is the dose and how we will give means this will give through the oral okay through oral and this we can administer through orally or vaginally so if orally if you want to be if you want to be give orally means the dose will be decreased like 400 mcg okay if you want to give this medicine means we have to be give through orally so that is the dose is like 400 mc mcg if want to be uh, administered through vaginally so the dose is like 800, 800 mcg okay that is the difference so first which drug we will administer here means mifepristone we will administer after 24 to 48 hours we will administer this misoprostol so if these two are work, uh, giving together like uh, with the combination if we are giving means within 3 to 4 hours we can notice the abortion clear so that is the drug under medical and next one is the medical one more drug is there that is prostaglandin so if the pregnancy like if the pregnancy is more than like uh, up to 9 weeks if up the up to 9 weeks pregnancy means we will we will prefer this medicine okay and if the pregnancy time is like uh, 9 to 12 weeks so between this time which medicine is preferable means prostaglandin okay so prostaglandin so this prostaglandin is uh, work as like a vaso constrictor and as well as it will initiate the uterine contractions okay so that we here we will give this uh, prostaglandin orally to the uh, pregnant mother between the weeks like 9 to 12 okay between 9 to 12 weeks we will prefer this prostaglandin drug to the pregnant mother to terminate the pregnancy clear so these are the two medical uh, two med uh, medical uh, like uh, treatments we will give to the give to terminate the pregnancy so how we will give what is the root means here vaginally vaginally we will administer this medicine to the pregnant mother to terminate the pregnancy clear so these are the two medical methods which are using to terminate the pregnancy and next one is the vacuum aspiration vacuum aspiration and dnc okay so these two are the procedures which are performing to terminate the pregnancy so okay but this vacuum aspiration that pregnancy time is between like 12 to 14 weeks okay if the pregnant mother has like weeks like 12 to 14 weeks so then we can perform this vacuum uh, aspiration and next one is the dnc so where we will perform this dnc means uh, so mostly to clean the uterine walls yes or no to uh, to rip or to clean out that endometrium we will use this dilatation procedure and hysterectomy also we will prefer one more is the hysterectomy so at the weeks of the 16 at the week of the 16 gestational age like uh, sorry pregnant uh, age pregnant mother if has the 16 weeks so that time we will prefer this hysterectomy okay and saline infusions also will do under, uh, to terminate the pregnancy so these are the different methods to terminate the pregnancy one is the mifepristone misoprostol prostaglandin vacuum aspiration dilation and curettage and hysterectomy and saline infusions which are important to terminate the pregnancy okay so these are the different induced methods under abortion so we'll see the procedure okay so what are these uh, instruments so these are the cervical dilator cervical dilators which are using to dilate the cervix so we'll we'll see the procedure of dnc
so this is the laminaria tent okay this is a laminaria tent which is used to dilate the cervix so that fluid and uh, the the fluid which is there in the cervix will be get absorbed so here giving the general anesthesia by using the casco speculum they are dilating the uh, vagina so this is the cervical dilator okay by using the cervical dilate so there are sizes so we had seen no different sizes of the cervical dilators so first the small one they will insert slowly the size will get increased to dilate the cervix and then after they will introduce the scopy into the uh, uh, uterus so here they are at noticing the where the exactly the retained bits are implanted so that they are noticing here so after observing with that particular scopy so they will uh, scrap the endometrium so now we will see so they had seen where exactly the retained bits are there after seeing that they are scrapping with the use with the help of the curator with the help of the curettage they what they had seen then so they had uh, scrapped the endometrium of the uterus so this is the procedure okay this is the procedure of the dnc clear dilation and curate curettage so you have uh, we, we under not said we have the like ibqs also so every instrument you have to be see clear carefully so there are chances to be asking exam based on these images also okay so this is about the dnc